you guys. Me and Mama B just got back from Dollar Tree and we got a few things I wanted to show you real quick. So we got some Father's Day cards. <laughs> I don't want to say it loud because my dad's here. Oh, and we also got, oh yeah, it's all here. And we got this bag for him too. And then we got some 4th of July cute things. These little bows. Look at how cute this the scarf is with the little fireworks on them and these little glasses. All a dollar. And then I got more of these shavers and so did we got some for my mom too because they're awesome and you guys even said when I show these that they're your favorites at the Dollar Tree and I just got some bags for my Mary Kay business and then we also got some candles for my brother's birthday coming up in June um, these are the only place we get these lighters because they're super inexpensive <laughs> she's trying to show you guys we got some garage sale signs <laughs> and then we got some cute um, Plates and napkins for 4th of July when we have our barbecue. Oh, my mom also got some of this soap. It's coconut mango. Hey guys, today is June 3rd and it's actually would have been my grandpa's 85th birthday today. So my mom and I are gonna go visit him right now and my grandma, cause she's right next to him, that's my mama. And we're, we actually went to Michael's to get some pretty flowers to put on their grave too. We have like a flag because my grandpa was very patriotic and always had flags out this time of year. So we got one of those and these pretty flowers. And I'm actually wearing his chain today too that he used to always wear. And yeah, it's kind of, you know, just kind of stinks not having him here because it's a very like big birthday and I wish he was here to celebrate it with him. But to be honest, he hated birthdays. <laughs> he really didn't like to celebrate his birthday and we always made him. <laughs> we used to always get a cake still and celebrate with him. And yeah, I just really miss hearing his voice and hearing his laugh and um, yeah, just getting to give him a hug, you know? But we're gonna try to get through this together and just go and say hi to him in a, in a different way. All right, breakfast today is some Dave's Killer Bread with some avocado, so AKA avocado toast. And I had a small mango left. I did already eat the other half, but I have one more half left to enjoy this morning. And then I'm just like not feeling water yet this morning. So I'm having this sparkling um, beverage of choice, the um, Pellegrino, but it's the, like it's mixed with some natural fruit juices. This is the sparkling prickly pear and orange, and this is what it has in it. Um, it is kind of high in calorie. Sometimes I only drink half of these at a time because of that, but it's kind of like a little treat this morning that I'm having with my breakfast. Hey guys, so I thought I'd share my makeup of the day. Today I'm about to film a Mary Kay video for all of you because we released an amazing new skincare. It's called TimeWise 3D, and it contains resveratrol, which is super anti-aging, amazing ingredient. And I'm gonna share that in a separate video that I'm gonna film. Um, but my eye makeup, I have the Stila Glitter and Glow Retro, Rose Gold Retro. I'm actually trying to use it kind of up because it's starting to dry out on me and I love it so much. I use the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat Palette for my crease. And on my lips, I have a combination of these two peach lipsticks from Too Faced in Doll Face and Smoke, oh, Sun, Sunday Fun Day. Um, I love these lipsticks. They're super mattifying, but they kind of have like a very comfortable feeling to them, very soft. I have the CC Cream on from Mary Kay. Um, pretty much my face makeup hasn't been changing very much because I'm trying to use up a few, few bronzers and blushes. So I have this bronzer on from MAC. I have um, this blush on from Laura Geller, which is in Bora Bora. It's a baked blush. I have this Merle Norman contour and highlight, um, or like highlighting powder. For my highlight, I have the Stroboscope from Moonplay Cosmetics in Vow. So beauteous. All right, I need to go finish getting ready so I can go and film for you guys. Panera, and I got this garden like salad. Has like a poppy seed vinaigrette, I think. And then my broccoli cheddar soup. Mama B got a Southwest chicken salad. Yum, yum, yum. Cuties. Who are you talking to? Oh. People. So we're going to Bath and Body Works and before you have a conniption. Oh, I can't say that. Ooh. 
<laughs> okay, rewind. Rewind. Okay, so we're going to Bath and Body Works, but before you have a problem, just wait. I'm not buying candles, I'm not buying hand soaps, but I actually used up all of my wallflower bulbs, even my Christmas ones I used up. Proud so, of you. Thanks, Mama. Plus, I'm here to, to tell her she yeah, can't. Yeah, she's going to be my, my person to help me resist the temptation. But I'll still kind of try to vlog it, because today's the first day of the 75% off sale there, and it's also the semi-annual sale for Victoria's Secret, by the way. Um, it started today, too. Which they're very, I think they, yeah, they are owned by the same peoples. So that makes sense that they both have a semi-annual sale at the same time. But yes, I'm only allowing myself to buy things when I completely use them up. And that goes for lotion, candles, and soap. I still have a ton of back stock of those. Oh, it already right. smells like heavenly. Oh boy, I'm nervous. <laughs> um, can I just say enabler? So good. Smells like heavy <laughs> coconuts. <laughs> there is some really good like summer candles and I'm not doing it. Walk. No, she is no. This literally smells just like root beer float. Alright, here's the haulage. So I got an island papaya. I, I got 10 because I used two at a time. Um, and they usually last me about a month. So I got the island papaya, blue ocean waves. Then I got two coconut water, two um, mahogany teak wood, two watermelon lemonade, and two pear berry. Then Mama Bee got this candle and it wasn't even on sale. I'm actually, I was like mad at her. I'm like, you should just wait until it goes on sale. But they only had one left of this and she fell in love with it. So we ended up getting it for her beach copper coconut. And then I got this and it was not on sale, but I was so worried it wouldn't be there later. And it's so perfect for me. So it's a candle holder and it says Paris. One side is pink glitter and one side is silver glitter. And it's gonna go in my makeup room. So pretty. So that's all I got, I promise. There is nothing in here. There's a candle holder because of these two items. But yeah, that's all I got. I got some uh, mail, some happy mail from Elf, and also from this popsicle company. And I know that's crazy weird, but we're gonna talk about that in a second. So Elf wrapped this so pretty. I should have show, shown you how beautiful it was. But anyway, um, it's all for summer. So we have a brightening mask, a lemon infused. Interesting. Petals drinking some water. Um, then we have a Power Glow Highlighter in Gold, a Booster Drops Antioxidants, hmm, very interesting, have not seen those, Glow Lotion in Luminous Gold, and a Rose Gold Eyeshadow Palette. I think I actually have this one, and if I do, I will put it in my upcoming giveaway. I'm, I'm like thinking I'm going to do my back to school giveaway in either late July or early August, but I might do a small one in June, we'll see. Um, give this a thumbs up if you would like to give away sooner or let me know, I'm sure you guys do. Okay, so this, they contacted me and this is the company and they come in different colors. I obviously have to get mine in pink. And what's so awesome and why I decided to give it a try was these pull out, and it's really hard for me to do with this hand. See, they pull out which is so much easier when you're trying to get your popsicle stick out, like get it out of the mold. That is so much easier because then you're not ruining the other ones that you're trying to get to. They also give you an extra mold just in case you maybe lose one or something. Really awesome and thoughtful. Um, a little tool to clean out your popsicle molds. And then this little tool, it um, expands. And this helps you pour um, in your goodness into your popsicle molds. So you can make healthy little um, fruit juice um, popsicles. Why can't I think? So yeah, you can use like, you know, watermelon juice, strawberries, pineapples. You can make your smoothie and make them into popsicles, which I'm thinking I'm gonna do. Don't you think that's a good idea? Like make some green smoothies and make them into popsicles and then you could have like a sweet little treat during the day. So I'll be do, I'll be showcasing these at another time and trying and trying this little set out soon for you guys. So to start off my day, this is more of a vegetarian breakfast, obviously not vegan because of the eggs. Um, 
but I'm not plant-based all the time. Like I do kind of lean a little on the vegetarian side because I do eat eggs and other things that have eggs and milk in them sometimes, like um, other food that hasn't mixed in, if you know what I mean. Anyways, I decided to try this Morningstar Farms bacon strips. Um, cause someone told me that they were good. Um, they're 60 calories for two strips. So that's what I have here. And they, they don't seem like they're crispy, but they are. See, like when I flake this off, they are crispy and they do taste like bacon. It's kind of crazy. Um, not like the real thing, you know, it's not greasy like real bacon, which is actually much better for you. I'm sure. And then I have two hard boiled eggs sliced with a little salt and then one small mango sliced. Hey guys, so today I've been trying out, a, or I am trying out a few new products that I, or new to me at least. The new Revlon foundation, the Insta Filter. Um, I'm trying out the shade 110 Ivory, and I think it matches pretty well, but when I was putting it on, it seemed like a little too pink, so it looks pretty neutral in the packaging. I can tell you right away that I do not like the applicator at all. Um, but the foundation definitely goes on pretty well. It's more matte of a foundation, and I'll let you know how it wears. Also wearing the Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer in Ivory. I'm trying to use that, that up. I tried out the new bronzer from The Bomb today, and I like it. It blended out really easily. It's a pretty color. So again, I'll keep using that and let you know. On my lips, I have Tom Ford Nude Vanille, and this is like a little mini of the White Russian lip gloss, buxom lip gloss. This stuff is amazing. As you can see, soy free, dairy free, vegan, because this is the halo top that is dairy free and made with coconut milk. They have a whole range like this now. So if you've never tried halo top and you're vegan, go for the dairy free ones. They're still really delicious. This one was the chocolate chip cookie dough. And if you eat the whole pint, it's 360 calories. I ate half of a pint at a time. This was actually my second serving. I had a serving like a couple of days ago. Um, so I probably eat about half the container both times. So it's probably about, I don't know, 170, 160 calories each time. But it was so delicious. It really tastes like cookie dough ice cream. So, so good. And it, I don't know why, but the dairy-free halo tops are creamier, in my opinion, than the regular. So I just got this card in the mail. I'm now an angel forever, which, I mean, this, this card is amazingly cool. And I used to be an angel VIP, but now I'm an angel forever. I guess that means I shopped too much at Victoria's Secret over the years. <laughs> but I'm happy to get the extra perks. And then I also got a $10 reward, which I'm very happy about, because right now, it is um, their semi-annual sale, so I might actually look into getting a few Ooh, things. Right, you guys, I cannot, I can barely look at you. Um, we're going to Grubstack in downtown Gilbert. Um, I'll leave it linked down below for you, those of you that live in Arizona and want to try it out. They actually reached out to me after I did the soda shop post and they asked if I'd like to try their place out for free and see if I like it. So Mama V's actually with me. Hello. <laughs> and um, got a little dressed up for the picture. Um, this dress is from Charlotte Ruth. It's very comfortable actually. And yeah, I'll show you the yummy food when we get there. It's at you guys. This is me and Brian went to this clever koi place the other day. It was all right. But here's where grub stack. So they have different stacks here. So you can do salad stacks, or you can do um, these kind of stacks. So this one has fries. This one's the nacho one. It has um, regular fries, but you can do sweet potato fries, or you can do mixed veggies. And um, this has like cheese and all the things that you would put on nachos. So it smells incredible. And mine's called the Farmers, and I just took the bacon out of mine, but it has corn and um, kale and tomato and cheese. It looks and smells super, super good. Hi, my name is Colton Grubb. I'm the owner of Grubstack. We are locally owned and operated here in Gilbert, Arizona. We're opening up our second location in Chandler uh, in October. 
off of Gilbert Road in Ocotillo. Uh, Comfort Food Customize is coming uh, down to Chandler here uh, this fall. And hopefully you can check us out here in Heritage Marketplace in downtown Gilbert. All right, you guys, we're full. So full tummies right now. Oh, my gosh. But it was really good, right? So good. So Ma Mama Bee's was especially delicious. I just tasted hers without eating the meat in it. And the flavor was insane. It was insane. It's so good. And the meat was so tender and flavorful. It was like a flank steak. Mm. It was delicious. And Guy Fieri has gone to their place and made like a barbecue stack. Um, we didn't eat that one, but I think my stepdad would absolutely love that one. So we're for sure going to have to bring him back. My salad was really good too. Like super fresh tasting. Um, the kale was really good in it. Yeah. And I took half of it home because I shared a little bit of Mama Bee's with her. And yeah, just wanted to tell you guys that it was mighty tasty. So just going on a quick lunch date right now and running a few Mary Kay errands and have a chat with a team member later. Fun stuff, but I just wanted to check in with you guys, tell you it is 97 today. So pretty cool, you know, it's not a hundred. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just realized I hadn't vlogged all day, so I thought I'd say a quick hi at Olive Garden. Soup and salad and breadsticks, it's where it's at. Hey guys, it's Friday. I'm going to Star Nails in Gilbert, that's where I go. I only go to Chi though, she's the best, and my nails are in desperate need. It's been three weeks, I think, so I am excited to have something new. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do These yet. These the cutest little nails ever. It's a little watermelon. I love it. Let me show you the other one. I think I like this one even more. So, so cute. So the color I got is called Strawberry Kiss, and it's the D&D &D gel. And she made me a little watermelon. So summery. So if you ever go to Star Nails and you go to Chi, let her know that I sent you. And she's so awesome. She let me um, set out one of my spa boxes too. So, so if you're at Star Nails ever, and let me start my car because it is blazing hot. I'm about to start sweating already. Whew. Um, and you want to get um, a free skincare pamper session and win a $15 gift card as well, drop your business card in there or fill out a little. So today I worked on my vision board or my goal board, whatever you wanna say. This is like my Mary Kay corner, fitness, family and relationship and travel. So yeah, I think it came out pretty good. I like it. So we're at India Oven and it is bomb vegetarian food. Just have to say I love it. With meat. With meat food. Oh, there's meat too. But I'm I'm eating vegetarian. This is like it's like chicken masala but without the chicken, so it's tofu. And then these meatballs I think are made with chickpeas and they're spicy and they're so so good. So meatless balls. These are like potato crisps. And then they have really good naan, as you can see we devoured it. Oh, yeah, he's showing us. <laughs> and then this, I tried this for the first time. It's called a mango lassi. That right, Dad? And it tastes kind of like a mango little smoothie or a mango yogurt. It's really good. Okay, so these are the little there. desserts. I would like to And just I think you call them golem jalam. And they kind of taste like um, pancakes soaked in syrup. Little pancake balls. They're actually pretty good. Then we tried this mango pudding. I wasn't too thrilled with that texture. And, well, you can't even see it anymore, but it was rice pudding. My dad devoured it. Mm -hmm. 